I'm checking at home, so watch this. For the Job said this. For the thing I greatly fear has come upon me. And what I dreaded has happened to me. I am not at ease, nor am I quiet. I have no rest for trouble comes. You guys remember how Job used to offer sacrifices and worship for his children in case he did anything wrong? That's what his focus was about. Oh, my child, I'm going to make sure my children are good. Oh, man, this is my habit. This is my habit. He's walking in. Was he walking in faith or was he walking in fear? In fear. The thing he feared the most yes. came upon him. Yes. The thing he was most focused on actually took place. Yes. Yes. Okay, you guys yes. see that? Yes. What took place? He lost his family, guys. He lost his family. The thing he feared the most. Yes. Nick. But what if, but what about us? We're Christians. Jesus came, paid the price. He set us free. Why am I not free? The Bible don't say because Jesus came, you're free. The Bible says because Jesus came and now you heard the message and now you know the truth and the truth shall set you free. So it says, John 8, 32, and you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. If you don't know it, you can't believe it, you can't expect it. If you don't expect it, you're walking in fear and you're fearing. You're fearing the possibility of what is no longer for you. Which since you don't know it, you can't believe it. Since you don't believe it, you don't expect it. So if you don't expect it, you walk in vulnerable. Right? You making sense? Yes. Yeah. The thing you fear the most. Conclusion on fear. What you got to fear? Mm -hmm. Jesus has all authority. Mm -hmm. I fear demons. Jesus said, Behold, I give you all authority over the mm -hmm. <laughs> serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Nothing yeah. shall by any means hurt you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but what about the big demons? The principalities. Yeah. Luke 9, 1 and 2. Mark 3, 14 so, and 15. And he gave them all authority yes. over all demons. No, not some demons, not the little demons, and the ones that are not principalities. We love that word, principalities. Right? Ephesians <laughs> 6. All demons. He gets the authority for all demons. Yes. What does all mean? All means all. All means all. And then it says, over all sicknesses. Mm -hmm. What does all mean all? all mean yeah, all. but that's viruses and flu. Hold up, don't stop there. <laughs> and to heal diseases. What diseases? The worst of the worst. HIV, cancer, all that bad stuff. It leaves no room for vulnerability and fear of something we have to go for. Okay? Yeah, but what if the Lord wants me to have that? Okay. Brittany, let's yeah. say let's say I drove here and my car is here. Okay. Brittany, I'm going to give you the keys to my car, bro. Okay. You can drive my car. Let's just say, I give you authority to drive my car. <laughs> Let's say Brittany comes to me. Hey, Nick, I went to the store. How'd you get there? I drove your car. How'd you know I wanted you to drive your car? You give me the keys. <laughs> if God doesn't want you to be healed or heal somebody by his power, I know that. Yes. But Jesus said, heal the sick. Mm -hmm. He said, pray for them. He said, ask me now. He said, heal them. Why? I'll get to that later. <laughs> Jesus says you can heal the sick. I give you authority over sicknesses, authority over demons, authority to heal. Does he expect us to do it? Does he expect us to be sick? Why? We have authority over it. Number two, sin comes, death comes. Sin comes, judgment comes. Condemnation comes because of the law. Curse of the law comes. Sickness comes. Disease comes. Forgiveness of sin comes. Righteousness comes, justification comes, blessing comes, not curse, blessing comes, healing comes, righteousness, healing. First Peter 2 24. Righteousness by his stripes were healed. Okay? All these scriptures, he forgives all your iniquities, heals your diseases. With forgiveness comes healing. Okay? Is that clear? That's not Nick, that's scripture. I have the references if you need them. Because the word of God is the standard. Not the doctrine of man, the traditions of man. Mm -hmm. Okay, so sin, not keeping the commandment, brings curse and sickness. Mm -hmm. Forgiveness, justification, not under the law, brings blessing and healing. Mm -hmm. It is one thing. Every spiritual blessing. blessing. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Nick, that's spiritual. But what about physical? <laughs> the Bible says the law was spiritual. And it still brought 
sickness. Yeah. No longer under the law. Mm. It should still bring healing. Yeah. You always got to contrast. It's the opposite of it. You guys hearing me? Mm -hmm. I'm going to read some more scriptures and, um, and then we're going to do a lunch break. Okay? Mm -hmm. 